Did you do this, Luke? Who dug these holes, Luke? I feel like it was you. Why'd you do that, Luke? Now I'm gonna have to fill those in. I know it wasn't Penny, I know it was you. Don't look over there like you don't know what I'm talking about. The yard's already destroyed, and now you're trying to dig under the porch? Ridiculous, my guy. I get asked all the time now what it's like being your own boss. And the truth is, it's not pretty. It's late nights and early mornings, meetings at random places throughout the day. Sometimes I have meetings at Hooters, and then sometimes I have meetings at Cracker Barrel. Today, I got a meeting at Cracker Barrel, which just might be one of the most important meetings I'm gonna take this year so far. It takes a lot of work. And to be honest with you, I do about 95% of it because I'm not fully in a position to have a team that I can hand off everything to. So I have to be overseeing the merch. I have to oversee the designs for the cannabis company. I have to oversee at least 95% of what's happening. Whenever you get merch from me over the past like three years, 99.9% .9 of the time, it went through my hands first. I package, I ship, I do all that stuff myself. So this isn't a nine to five. And to be honest, this type of lifestyle isn't for everybody. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with not being your own boss, right? The internet has pushed this narrative that you have to be an entrepreneur. You have to be the one that does all of it. And that's just not the case. Like sometimes that's not the life for everybody. But for me, it's not only the life that I want, it's the life that I chose. I know nothing else. I haven't had a regular nine to five since I signed my first record deal in 2009. This is just what I'm used to. I'm used to the late nights and early mornings. I'm used to having to do five million things at once myself to get it done correctly, right? So let's get to this meeting at Cracker Barrel because of course I'm already late. But listen, I'm a dad first and I had to drop all my kids off at school before I take any fucking meetings. All right, that was a long ass fucking meeting. This next year is about to be fucking crazy. It's kind of a trip. Some of the people that I'm ending up having meetings with and sitting down with 10 years ago, five fucking years ago, these people probably wouldn't even have looked at me fucking twice. They would have probably crossed the street to avoid having to look at me. And now I'm sitting down with some people I would have never fucking dreamed I would have the ability to start doing business with. I'm looking forward to 2024 because we're only like 11 days in and I've already fucking kicked down doors. I have no business even being by. I was supposed to go to the grow today, but I'm gonna wait until next week because I got some real dope shit that I want you guys to see. I want you guys to see the behind the scenes on this next strain that I'm working on that is a motherfucking heater, by the way. So since I got a little bit of free time, I've been trying to get in two a days, right? So I usually run in the morning and I weight train in the afternoon. But since today my schedule is a little kind of discombobulated, I'm gonna run now and then get my ass back here to the house because I got so many fucking hoodie orders. I gotta ship off. I gotta get started right now because I told everybody to be out the door by Saturday. Let's go get a run in real quick. Then let's get back here and start shipping off these orders. Let's get it. If you've been following me since about 2020, you know that I decided out of nowhere to say, fuck it, I'm gonna become an endurance athlete. And I started training for marathons in my mid thirties. I never fucking liked running. I've always been in the gym and, you know, taking decent care of myself, but an endurance athlete, never, never thought that would be something I would decide that I wanted to do. See, the thing about being your own boss is you make your own schedule. Now that could be a good thing or that could be a bad thing. On days like today, when my whole schedule got flipped upside down, and I couldn't do what I needed to do today until next week, I could use them extra hours to say fuck it and not do shit. 
But since I couldn't run this morning, I laced up my shoes and I got to fucking business. Discipline is what's gonna make you either a good boss or a bad boss. I don't have a big team, but the team I have has been with me forever. And they know that I'm gonna get down there in the trenches, get my hands dirty, and I'm gonna lead by example. I do not lead from the back of the pack. I'm in the front, getting dirty, doing what needs to get done. Because when you're at the level that I'm at, I don't have the funds to just say fuck it, right? I don't have fuck it money. So I have to make sure that it's getting done correctly. And luckily enough, I have a solid squad that's been with me for a long time, but it's not a lot of us. So they can't do everything and I can't do everything. But if they see me out there giving maximum effort and doing things that maybe other bosses, other people in charge wouldn't do, they're gonna say, well shit, if he's willing to do that, then I better get the fuck up, get off my ass and go handle business. So every time I watch a vlogger on YouTube, right? And they show the dope ass shots and the time lapses, I always think, why do they never show how they get there, right? So this is me showing how I got here. I'm walking on the San Mateo Bridge to get a dope ass idea I had for a time lapse. I almost got hit by a fucking car to get. So now it's about 4.30, typical nine to five. Your day's about to end. You're gonna be able to clock out, go home, just post the fuck up if you want to, right? For me, hell nah. It's 4.30, it's not like today hasn't already been jam packed, right? I still gotta package all of this merch you see behind me, which is a fuckload of hoodies. So much it can't even fit in the, I got the wide angle lens on this bitch and it still can't fit in the frame. I have to package these myself because guess what? I own the company and that's the type of shit that comes with being an entrepreneur. And I'm not complaining, don't get it twisted because there was a time in my career when I was at the flea market grinding my ass off just to sell five fucking CDs and maybe 10, 15 shirts if I was lucky. So the fact that I'm sitting in a pile of merch that I gotta ship off is a blessing. I'm letting you guys get a glimpse at what it takes to actually own your business. When most people are calling it quits, See, look, there's the kids right there. I know you guys heard the horn. I gotta go get groceries too. So not only do I gotta finish shipping off all this merch, I gotta bring groceries inside too. The life of an entrepreneur and a dad is fucking interesting, let me tell you. What's up, get the whole school? Good. What'd you do? Played with my friends. Played with your friends, huh? Mm-hmm. What'd you guys play? Jason and zombie. Jason and zombie. <laughs> what do you plan? Dragon Ball Z universe two. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's pretty wild, my guy. I know. It's just because you don't like anime. I never said I didn't like anime. You don't like this kind of anime. When did I say that? You said it before. Trust no, me, I know. No, I've never said that. I'm just making shit up now, my dude. I'm not. Who's that? Gohan. Kid Gohan. He's already dead. And what's the point of this whole situation here? You're trying to fix time because it's breaking. Oh yeah? Yeah. Fortnite vibes or what? Mm-hmm. Aaron, what are you doing over there? What are you playing? Oh. Oh, what is Fortnite this? Is Johnny. You're playing Fortnite too? You guys playing together? No, I'm playing with one of my friends. Why isn't your little brother playing with you? Because we're gonna lose if he plays. Well, what do you have him in over there? Sounds he's like playing, he's playing he, some wild shit. Yeah, he there's you know there's like um game modes on it that are like really random and he's like just playing on it. So you just mode. threw him in some random little no, mode. He, he sets it up. Uh -huh. That's not me. That's not me. He does it. Uh huh. So I might be a lot of things, but I'm a dad first. So it's Friday and I'm handling business from the fucking house so I can spend time with my kids. I'm not going to sacrifice quality time to chase a fucking bag. And not only that, they get to see what it takes to build a business from scratch and do this shit yourself. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit that little fucking bell notification so you don't get left behind. I'll see y'all next time.